Third of Ban Ban is a game series that released five games in 2023, which is impressive to say the least. Ever since it came out, I've played every single one, so I want to give my true, honest thoughts on each one without going in depth. Garden Ban Ban 1. This is honestly hard to talk about because realistically, it's just a 15 minute demo. It gets the point across though with what you're about to be exposed to, but it's decent. Garden of Ban Ban 2. This game is okay. I really don't like the canon puzzle because it's horrendous, but other than that, I actually like this game. Garden of Ban Ban 3. Aggravating to me when I first got it, but I've grown to like it. It's super creative and also I think it's the funniest one of the series. And looking back, I love the lore in this one the most. Garden of Ban Ban 4. In my opinion, the best one. I think the pacing is better, the story is more satisfying, and overall, it's the funnest one to play. Garden of Ban Ban 6. This to me is the weakest and the worst game in the series. Game feels super padded and the puzzles just suck. The ending is cool and Sir Dadadu is the best part. Overall, I actually want to give the Euphoric Brothers a chance. I love supporting indie artists, whether it be music, game devs, YouTubers, or what have you. People think I just hate to hate, but honestly, I'm just giving my honest opinions on their work. If I don't like their game, I'm going to say I don't like it, rather than just playing along to fit the algorithm or whatever. I have also never refunded a game from them, and I bought their official merchandise because I want to see Garden of Ban Ban thrive. I think the Garden of Ban Ban series is definitely going somewhere, and despite not liking Ban Ban 6, I'm still looking forward to 7 and seeing what the Syringin character is all about. But that's all I'm going to say about the series until 7 actually comes out. Short and sweet.